Disc Golf Dudes. Hey disc golfers, welcome to DGD. I'm Dan with the Disc Golf Dudes and today we're going to be unboxing a 10 disc mystery box from Community Discs. I'm really excited to open it up. Now, here's what they say about this mystery box. They say that it's going to come with at least nine different molds, with at least three different plastics, and with one specialty disc, like an out of production or a first run or a tournament disc of some kind. And so we're gonna check this out, see what it looks like, and I'm really excited to see how Community Disc does with their mystery box. This is an Innova only mystery box. And so let's check it out. <clears throat> All right, I'm Dan and this is Gray and we're gonna open up this box from Community Discs. We're hoping for some cool ones. We'll see what we got. All right, so our first one looks like a, a Champion Rock 3. Now, um, the Rock 3 is one of my favorite mid-ranges, so uh, that's pretty nice. We'll keep them in the plastic here. But uh, what do you think of that one? Yeah, that's nice right there. Um, uh... The coloring is very nice. Um, uh, how um, the grip is very nice, and um, how it's put is also very good. And I really like that. And, yeah, and uh, one other amazing. thing I noticed, it's uh, a Paul Macbeth three-time uh, world champion disc. And so that's pretty good. That's a good yeah. one. So our second one, it looks like, now typically this is, um, a disc that is like a first run or a prototype one that has this on here. I'm gonna read the back. This is a Mako 3 first run. Okay, so this is kind of cool. Uh, we got a first run disc in here, which is nice. Uh, typically those are worth a little bit more because they're a first run. And so this is a first run Mako 3. The sticker is very cool. Mm -hmm. I like how that's on it. Also like this, they kind of have the same type of the clearness mm. and covering. Yeah, so the, both of those are champion plastic and yeah. means they're kind of more of the see-through plastic. Yeah, and those, um, if you watched our first video, then you know that um, those are kind of some of my favorites or the tie-dye types. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is um, the discs that I really like looking at. And when I see through the back, like how the shiny sticker looks on the back, it's really cool. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, so this one, this one is, uh, it looks like maybe it's an old tournament disc, but this is, it says 2013 Beauty Hill Championship with a little chicken on it, and it says Community Discs on it, and it looks like this is a, um, a glow disc, a glow gazelle. And a gazelle isn't one that you see very often, um, but uh, it's kind of cool. Uh, I actually threw a gazelle for a while and I really liked it. Um, but you don't see these very often. Mostly they're only in like the baseline yeah. DX plastic. So a glow gazelle is kind of rare. So that's kind of cool to get. Uh, here's another champion plastic. This one's cool. This one is a uh, Ken Climo 12 time champion T-Bird. And it has uh, like a really, really sparkly uh, stamp on it. Yeah. Which is nice. This is a really nice color. And uh, T-Bird is a, is a popular disc, but I like yeah. that really bright orange. And that, um how it blends in um, this bright orange on the outer ring. Like there's just so many dy dynamics that you can see through it. Like if you face it to the light, mm -hmm. it almost looks like what you can find on laser tag or something. That's right. It almost like captures the light and makes it glow more yeah. in certain spots. And like how it looks like there's like two types of layers is yeah. really cool. Like where the plastic gets thicker, the yeah. color changes in the orange. Like it's uh -huh. a little bit more opaque in some spots. Uh -huh. Okay, so now we have like a, a yellow day glow and this is a, a starlight Valkyrie. And so I believe if I'm not mistaken, this is like a really, really light version. And so for, uh, for like people that are younger like you, this is a really nice plastic mm -hmm. because it's lighter. Because this is only 150 grams, which is on the very lighter scale of things. Um, and it actually says 149 on the disc itself. Um, but the Valkyrie is a popular disc and it has a really nice bright color, so this should be really easy to find. You actually carry a Valkyrie in your bag. It's one of the tie-dye ones that you have, but this one's a lot lighter than that. Okay, so this is a, a star plastic, a star plastic orc. And um, the orc, 
is um, one that I actually, uh, I have an MVP bag that I throw, mm -hmm. but I also have a separate bag that's all Innova that I throw sometimes. Um, and the Orc is one of my discs that I use quite often for forehands because it's a little bit more overstable. Uh, but this is a nice uh, kind of light blue, uh, light blue disc and it has a little bit of like some white swirls in it, but not too much. Yeah. Oh yeah, I see those white squirrels. That is, if you look hard, you can see those white squirrels, which is cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, so our next disc, let's see, one, two, we've gone through six, is that right? One, yeah. two, three, four, five, Maybe. six. So we've got four more discs. Uh, the next one is a G-Star Boss. Now I'd say probably out of all of the drivers that Innova makes, the Boss is one of my top two favorites. I really love the Boss. I really love the Katana. And I actually, my favorite plastic blend is their G-Star plastic. This is 172 gram. This is definitely one that I would throw and that I would add to my bag because uh, it's grippier and um, it wears in maybe a little bit faster than the Star plastic. And uh, the Boss just really flies. I have a disc kind of like this that has some of the same colors. Yeah, I know. It has some of the, it's kind of like the stamps are a little bit glittery. That's mm -hmm. also for my disc. And um, I really like that disc and um, it's one of my favorite putters. So this is, um, this is a really cool disc too. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, I like that one. <clears throat> okay, so now we have, this has a really cool stamp on it, kind of like a rainbow glitter stamp. This is a Star Wraith and it's a 12 time Ken Climo uh, Star Wraith. And so this is also star plastic. This one's also baby blue. This is 166 grams. And uh, this is a really nice disc too. I, I like the star wraith. It's similar to probably like the boss and the destroyer, but it's just a little bit slower, but you can still really power this disc and get it really far. But I really love the color on this. I really love the stamp. What do you think of uh, how that stamp looks? Yeah, I really like the stamp and the blue color and the stamp matches really well. Uh, uh, um, good, sorry. Mm -hmm. um, like It's kind of like the sky and a rainbow or something. So next one we have, uh, this one's a cool one. This one is an Excalibur. Uh, this one's kind of more of an overstable distance driver and this is a Star Excalibur. But I really love the look of this. Um, it has a little bit more of almost like a matte finish to the, uh, to the disc. And I, I really like the, the white and gold stamp. Uh, it looks really good. This is a 174 gram Excalibur. Uh, I know a lot of the professionals who throw uh, Innova on the Pro Tour, a lot of them will carry an Excalibur for those really overstable throws and some overstable forearms. Um, but this is a nice one. I like this one. I haven't really thrown an Excalibur, but um, this is a really cool disc. Yeah. And um, <clears throat> like um, we just saw the one, the other blue one, but it's this disc is a little darker and um, um, it's like if you look closely, it has almost that like swirl coming around, mm -hmm. which is really cool. Yeah, and then the back just looks firm and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a lot really of people cool. like the Excalibur and that's and that's a good plastic, it's a good color. And sometimes a star plastic can be a little bit slippery in my hand. Yeah. That's why I like the G-Star, but that has a really grippy uh, feel to it, which is I really like. Okay, so this is a Blizzard plastic, a Champion Blizzard. This is a plastic where they put air bubbles into the plastic to make it a little lighter. And you can actually see the air bubbles in this one. Um, like, do you see all those little air bubbles in there? Oh yeah. And this is a Dominator, which is a uh, Speed 13, uh, five glide, negative one turn, and two fade. And I haven't ever thrown a Dominator before, but this almost looks, uh, it looks like a, uh, Blizzard Champion, but it almost looks like uh, like glow. And I don't know if it's glow or not, it might just be clear. But I, I do like the clear color, kind of that frosty uh, color to it. Um, this one actually, you know, for a 13 speed, um, it feels pretty good in the hand. It doesn't really feel like it's it, it overpowers my hand. Usually when I get up to 13, especially 14 speed discs, the, the rim is just too big. But this one actually isn't quite as wide as I would have expected it to be. Yeah. Um, which is cool, but it is, uh, it does look like it is actually, you know, not too overstable. It looks like it actually has uh, a little bit less 
uh, stability than like uh, like the the destroyer the boss would have. Mm -hmm. But I've never thrown it before, so I don't know if that is accurate. What do you think of that color? I really like it, and how they put the air bubbles in. Yeah, that makes it very more light and um, good. And um, just this would be really cool throwing it on the course. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and it would look really cool. And just how it flies, it would be really nice. Yeah. It would be a cool disc because it's completely kind of clear. If you wanted to dye it and add kind of that um, tie dye color to it, yeah. If someone really likes doing that tie dye dyes to your discs, that would be a cool disc to do it yeah. to because it has a nice surface. Okay, we, we're to our last disc here, and this one actually is a Disc Mania disc. This isn't an Innova disc. Now, I believe Innova makes the Disc Mania discs at their factory, and so they're kind of connected in a way, and there's a little bit of overlap with. Um, with those two companies because they use the same type of plastics. So this one is uh, champion plastic. It's kind of that clear plastic, but it has kind of almost like that emerald green color to it, which is neat. And this is a PD, it's a their power driver. It's a speed 10, so it's a little bit slower. Um, it's uh, four glide, zero turn and three fade. So this one's pretty overstable. Um, if you want a disc that uh, is really gonna fade pretty hard, or if you have a lot of power in your throw, uh, this would be a pretty good disc. I know a lot of the Disc Mania players that are on the Pro Tour that have really big arms will uh, throw a PD sometimes just because they need that overstability. Um, yeah, it's really cool. What do you think of uh, that green emerald color? Yeah, I really like the color. And um, <clears throat> like the orange one that we looked at, um, if you put it near the light, it kind of changes the form of how it looks. Which, um, yes, is um, one of my favorite types of colors of discs or mm -hmm. um, forms, I guess you could say. Yeah. And um, I really like that. And um, just how it's shaped and everything is really nice. That's cool. Um, I think the last thing we got in there, they threw in a little glow mini disc for us, which is cool. And that they didn't advertise that, so it's nice of them to throw that in. And we've got a uh, little disc golf bumper sticker which is cool, I like that. I might have to uh, find a place for that. And uh, then we also got another sticker that uh, says uh, Community Disc Golf, uh, which is the company we bought this bag from. So overall, uh, I'm scouring the internet looking for good mystery boxes. And with this mystery box, I would say it is uh, probably a little bit more than I'm looking to pay. Probably uh, it ended up being around around $12 a disc for this. And um, so I'm usually looking for $10 a disc or less. But overall, uh, what they promised was is they would have at least three different plastics, at least nine different molds of discs, and they would throw in at least one, um, one like tournament disc or first run disc or out of production disc. And we've got all of those things. We got that first yeah. run um, Mako 3, we got that Glow Gazelle, which you don't find very often. So overall, I'm pretty happy with this. I think this was a good uh, mystery box. What do you think, Ray? Yeah, I really like the discs. And um, the discs, discs that they showed today were really good. So mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, really all right. Nice job, Community Discs. I think I'm gonna be buying another uh, box from you guys with another brand soon. So thank you guys so much. And uh, it was a ton of fun opening this and seeing what we got. All right, this is the Disc Golf Dudes, DGD, signing off. We'll talk to you guys later. Go well, first. I've got to say Community Disc did a great job. They promised at least nine different molds. We got 10 different molds. They promised at least three different plastics, and they pulled through. And all of them were their premier plastics. We didn't get any baseline plastics at all. We didn't get any putters. They were all mid-ranges and drivers. So man, great job community discs. That was a worthwhile mystery box. Thanks for watching everyone and we'll see you next time on DGD. Hey everyone, one thing to add as I was editing the video, I realized community discs sent me 11 discs in their 10 disc box. So props to community disc for going above and beyond ended up being an awesome box so props to you guys and i am definitely going to be looking for another disc from you really satisfied with with what i got so thanks again community discs and definitely check those out because those are some cool mystery boxes all right dgd signing off